So when you pull at the chain, and if you have a sensitivity to wheat, only 9% of the people have gut symptoms. Their weak link is somewhere else, and they get thyroid symptoms. They get elevated antibodies to their thyroid, or they get depression because there's not enough blood flow going into the brain. 73% of celiac patients, which is a wheat-related disorder, not the only one by any means, but 73% of celiac patients have a lack of blood flow in at least one third of their brain. It's called hypoperfusion. When you have a lack of blood flow in your brain, it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. So depending on what area of the brain has this hypoperfusion will determine, do you get depression or anxiety, depression, anxiety, uh, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, seizures. I'm... In the Journal of Gastroenterology, they published a paper that said children with drug-resistant epilepsy, which means seizures, these children are getting seizures, and they've tried at least three drugs, and they're still getting seizures. That qualifies as drug-resistant. 50% of those children go into complete remission on a gluten-free diet. 50%. Why don't our neurologists know this? Because it was published in a gastroenterology journal. And neurologists don't read gastroenterology journals. That's the first component of the answer mm -hmm. about why is gluten a problem. So basically, gluten causes inflammation. Inflammation kind of attacks your weakest link in the body, whatever that might be. 